Hello students, welcome to Shirtback Academy. In our lesson today, we're going to cover section 6.3 in the ITF Plus course. The topic for this lesson is behavioral security. Let's begin. Behavioral security is a model that monitors and records user activity to identify patterns. It analyzes user behavior when online and at work. Privacy expectations are the reasonable belief that a user's personal data is safe and secure from unauthorized access. Informed consent is when a user gives permission for another to access their personal data and activity. User agreements are binding legal contracts that define access limits of personal data by third parties. Social media are online platforms where people build networks and relationships with other people who share similar personal or career interests. Federation is accessing all personal social media platforms with a single username and password. Some behavioral security best practices when using social media include never accepting friend requests from unknown people, never sharing passwords with anyone, avoiding clicking on any pop-up advertisements, and using our social media only on secure network connections. Messaging are the different methods that people can communicate with each other. There are several messaging types to be familiar with. Email messaging is exchanging typed communications between two people over electronic devices. Instant messaging is an online technology that provides real-time text communication between two parties. Text messaging is the exchanging of text communications using mobile smartphones. Most smartphones will use SMS, short message service, for their texting features. Advanced messaging is the use of multimedia for video chats, file transfers, and clickable hyperlinks within a message. File sharing is the process of distributing or providing access to digital media and files. File sharing includes multimedia videos and images, documents, and applications. Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing are two users on the same directory server sharing files. User files can be indexed for easy retrieval. Cloud services are remote file sharing technologies that allow users to share files over internet connections. A couple common examples are Google Drive and Dropbox. File sharing should occur only with trusted users. We should always have the proper permission levels for our user access. Mobile applications are software developed for use on tablets, smartphones, and other mobile devices. Mobile security helps prevent device hacking and fraud. App security is making downloads available to only those users from trusted and verified sources. Many vendors have security built into their platforms, such as Android. Some behavioral security best practices for mobile applications include deleting unused applications, downloading only from verified platforms, closing apps to prevent virus attachments, and avoiding the saving of passwords to personal data websites. Desktop software are all the applications, programs, and software licensed and downloaded onto a personal computer. The three primary desktop software licenses are transferable, click wrap, and shrink wrap. Transferable software allows an individual user to install software on multiple computers. Click wraps are software that's downloaded to the computer 
after a user agreement has been completed. Shrink wraps are retail software purchased out of the box. The user's license terms are included in the manual. Any desktop software that does not fit a license category may be from an unverified or malicious source. Always check before downloading. Corporate networks are groups of computers connected together owned by the same company or business. The networks may be local area networks or wide area networks. Some behavioral security best practices for corporate networks include first having all users with unique login credentials, requiring all wireless internet traffic to use a secure connection, and applying the principle of least privilege, which means that users should have access only to data necessary for their job. Intranets are corporate networks without outside internet connections. They give access to internal resources to authorized employees. Personal information is any data that uniquely identifies an individual. Personal information should never be shared with unauthorized third parties or used on public internet connections. Some common personal information data types include your full name, home address and telephone, social security number, bank account information, and driver's license. Companies with permission to your personal information have a legal obligation to protect your data from third parties. That will conclude this lesson. In our next lesson, we'll cover Section 6.4, AAA Security and Non-Repudiation. If you have any questions about the contents of this lesson, please review the course notes and exam objectives in Section 6.3. We thank you for following along in the video. We will see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.